Welcome back to Behind the Scenes of the Waltons. Today, I'm going to be speaking with special guest Deborah White, who starred in the episodes The Chivalry and The Loss as young Olivia. Please welcome my special guest, Deborah White. I just want to welcome you. This is Debbie White. And oh, do you go by Deb, Debbie, or Deborah? Well, uh, uh, professionally, it's Deborah White, yeah. But you okay. can call me Deb, Debbie, whatever, whatever. But hey, the you. professional <laughs> name is Deborah White <laughs> or well. Deborah White type. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to join me to talk with um, my the Walton great. fans and people who have loved and watched. And of course, saw the two episodes you did, The Chivalry and The Loss. So mm -hmm. as uh, I as I had said that I was going to do my best to see if you would come have, a, have an opportunity to come and talk with me. And here you are. So thank you. <laughs> my great pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, we we I had told people that we got we got pretty close while we were. We did. Filming. We did. You and I and uh, uh, Cammie, we got we got I loved you guys. You guys are great. And when they brought me back, I was beyond the moon. You know, it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to see the kids again. It's great. <laughs> and I loved I loved the whole experience. It was my actually my first job in Hollywood and wow. uh, and my best. I mean, my most favorite was my first. It was like the Waltons. <laughs> I'm going to be on the Waltons. And I was already, uh, you know, I looked very young. I um, was always looked very young. I, um, I'm in, my, I, I don't mind saying I'm in my 70s now, but because um, 70s aren't so bad, I'll tell you. They're not bad. You, you, you get to uh, not give a damn about a lot of stuff. And I've had a couple of careers, happily, happily, happily. Um, but uh, I was 30 something when I did the Waltons. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was already an adult, uh, even though I was playing somebody much younger. So I came onto the set as an adult. Um, and yet you kids were so much fun. I just could not stop being fascinated by, by all of you. And as I'd said, I'd love the show, but I, I love talking to you. You were really interesting and serious, very serious. I remember you being very serious. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, as a, as a teenager, I think I was still at the point of so wanting people to treat me as an adult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was just on that cusp of not quite, mm -hmm. I wasn't 18 yet. I wasn't mm -hmm. 21 yet. And mm -hmm. I felt like being in an adult world I always felt that push to be treated like an adult, to be respected as an adult. And I think that I, that, that played into a lot of it. I, I agree with you. And, and the fact that I was an adult and I, I was playing so young uh, kind of made it like uh, I could play with you, you know, and still be an adult at the same time and could talk to you as an adult because you were you had a lot of adult in you. You had a lot of grown up in you. You were not a silly child by any no. means. <laughs> no, I think Fair. we grow up fast in the industry. And I I'm guess so. From a very early age. So yeah. yeah. Can I tell you about my my first uh, day there? Can Absolutely. I? Do you want, do you want anything like yes, that? Please, please. Okay. Wherever we go is is good. Okay. Well, first of all, the fact that I've got that I booked the Waltons out of the box was beyond me. And it was a really lovely part. And I got to play with everybody in the show. And I knew I'd watched every episode. And I remembered the, um, uh, going to the set. And um, you know this, of course, the set was behind the parking lot at Warner Brothers. So you would um, park in the parking lot, and then you would make a left and you'd go through these trees and there was Walton's Mountain. It was just there. And I think it was one of the Hollywood Hills in the back was actually Walton's Mountain. But there was the exterior right there. And I started to cry. I mean, I I, I, I mean, I was like, um, I'd already worked in New York. I knew I was going to be an actress. I came from a theatrical family. And I'd done a lot of commercials and theater in New York. But I knew that I would do well in television. And I wanted to go out to LA and uh, to end up on the Waltons is the very first show on a beautiful part was astonishing. 
Uh, and then to actually see the house, you know, and then you go, oh, wait, it's not really a house. It's just the front of a house. <laughs> and you turn around and behind you was, I mean, this is just Hollywood fun stuff, was a, was, was a Western village from something else. You know, it was just the front of a house. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that it was magic. It was magic to me from day one, whether it was real or not real, it was magic. And I never really had that experience again on any other show. And I worked a lot of shows and I did a bunch of pilots and I, um, I had such a good time on, on the Waltons and nothing ever quite came up to that experience. Wow. The joy, the joy of that cast. Huh. That's so nice to hear. I, I've, I've had other people say that it was one of their favorite jobs to do. Um, I know we always tried to make people feel welcome and comfortable. And you I know did. we had a very, um, our relationship together was also good that I think yeah. that helped. So there wasn't conflict amongst the cast and these people don't speak to each other. And yeah, we were like family. There were times yeah. I was speaking to some of them, but mm -hmm. the next week it was fine. You made yeah. up like family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the director, I forget who directed the episode, but he was lovely. Um, everybody, everybody was just lovely to me. And then I, then we go inside and we work inside in the studio and there's the kitchen and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like hide, you know, that uh, I am like, <laughs> so happy to be here i'm i'm ready whenever you are cb let's let's just work you know but <laughs> now you got yeah. to in um in the shivery mm -hmm. you got to work with bruce davison oh yes i adore oh, yes. yeah yeah great guy great guy um actually bruce and i had worked together before and i don't remember on what and richard and i had worked together before oh, wow. because he he and i had both understudied a broadway show that lasted one night oh i guess you didn't and, get to go on <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> nope but we were both so serious and so good <laughs> that uh we would rehearse we would we rehearsed we knew all our lines we were ready to go on and the show closed <laughs> I understudied Bernadette Peters and he understudied um, Don Scardino, who actually also ended up being a really good director, wonderful actor and a good director. Yeah. It's funny how things just like, uh, you know, change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well then I, I just, cause I just recently watched both of your episodes because I knew we were going to be talking. Oh, how sweet. Um, and it was, it was, it always brings back wonderful memories when I watch mm -hmm. the episodes and particularly, you know, watching you and remembering, you know, that, and, and, and then feeling it's like, well, how, why, how did we kind of lose contact with each other? I know, you know? I know. Those are the I know. things life just sort of happens. And, you know, you guys made me laugh a lot. I have a very, a very personal story to tell. I don't know if I should have never actually told anyone, but I might as well tell you and the rest of the world at this point. <laughs> So um, uh, by the time I did the second episode, I was divorcing my husband mm. and he was um, uh, not a good person to be married to. And we had had a fight one night and um, Ellen actually lived up the block from me in West Hollywood. I was on Vista Grande and she was someplace, she was in within walking distance and I would, uh, you know, we'd wave at each other, whatever. But I walked over to her house in tears mm. um, because, you know, in my in my craziness at that moment, she was grandma mm. and I was going to grandma and I was, you know, really only going to Ellen's house. And she was wonderful to me. Mm. She was wonderful. She beckoned me in and we sat down and she you know, told, asked me what was wrong. And I said, I hate my husband. I'm going to leave. He's the most awful person. You know, and she listened to me and she, did, I'm just, was an actress that had been on the show a few times. And she, she didn't, she didn't go into the granny role because that wasn't really her, but she, I mean, it was her, but she was so much more than that. She just, it, we were just woman to woman for about an hour. We sat and she, talked me down off the wall. Wow. And I went home. 
And then I divorced my husband. But <laughs> but I never got a chance to thank her for that. I mean, she just she just talked me down. She talked yeah. me down from a, a state of craziness. Not that I was going to do anything or anything. I was just, it, you know, I was young and I was ready to leave my husband. And and uh, I think she'd had a marriage that failed or something like that. But oh, she was wonderful. And I, I remember remember the room we sat in. I mean, anyway, yeah. that's a. That's that's what the Waltons will do to you. It'll make everybody on the show feel like family. Yeah, people people say that, and and we feel that way about the people who have been loyal to the show mm. for now fifty years since. We I know, isn't that together. amazing? It fifty is, years. I really appreciate Debbie coming by to spend some time with us and to share some of her memories of the Waltons and a bit about her life pre, during, and post the Waltons. I'll be back with more behind the scenes of the Waltons and more Ask Judy. Thanks for watching.